How's it going, Eliminators? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a very quick and easy modification that you can do to just about any socket or closed box end wrench to decrease the chances of slippage when either trying to tighten or loosen a shallow headed bolt. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So we're over here on the workbench today, and in front of me, I have a 13 16 socket and wrench over here. It has both an opened and closed end to it as well as a half inch socket and half inch wrench to the right. And as you heard in the intro, today I'm gonna to be showing you a very simple modification that you can do to either a socket or a closed end wrench to decrease slippage when trying to either tighten or loosen a shallow headed bolt. Now what a lot of you may not realize is on these closed end wrenches, and the sockets here, there is going to be a bevel that is molded into the design of both the socket and the wrench. And that bevel there makes it so that the socket or the bolt head is always self-aligning, you see that? So it makes it easier for you to get the socket or the closed end wrench onto the bolt head there. Basically that bevel right there simply guides it into place. Now the bolt that I have in front of me is not necessarily a shallow headed bolt. However, if we zoom in here, it does have a bevel on the bolt head. Let's see if I can get a nice clean shot of that for you guys, see that? So there is now a bevel on both the socket and the bolt head. So coming back over to the workbench, you guys can see that on the 13 16 socket and wrench, the bevel is much more pronounced and easier to see. So as you could imagine, when you're trying to put a socket like this onto a bolt that also has a bevel on the head of it, we have a decreased amount of contact surface area between the socket or closed end wrench and the hex head of the bolt. Now you're trying to tighten or loosen this, maybe the bolt is seized and that socket simply slips right off. Not ideal and you end up stripping the hex head of that bolt and now you have to move on to using a bolt extractor. So what is a simple way that you can increase the contact area and decrease the chances of that socket or wrench from slipping? Well, it's something that I just learned recently and that's why I'm making this video to share it with you guys today. You are simply going to grind away the bevel on either the closed end wrench or your socket and you now have a nice flush edge that can make contact with the bolt head or the nut that you're trying to remove. So by grinding away at the material on that closed end wrench or socket, removing that bevel, you are now lowering the contact area, essentially increasing the contact area or surface area in between the wrench and the bolt head. So now you can put that wrench onto the bolt there, which in theory should limit your chances for rounding the head off of that bolt. And for me, I've noticed that the 3 8 headed screws on a lot of the snowblowers now have a really rounded head to them, almost like the manufacturers are trying to make them tamper proof so that people cannot remove them. Now this is not one of them. This is like the older style of hex head that you would see on a snowblower's access panel. And this one again has the bevel on the top of the bolt head but a lot of the newer ones, they really pronounce that bevel. And I have had issues where even my socket has slipped. So I'm thinking about taking a 3 8 socket and grinding the bevel off of one of those to again, increase that contact area and decrease the chances of me rounding one of those bolt heads off. Now for this example, I didn't just go out and ruin one of my wrenches. I have a whole bunch of half inch wrenches. And if you'll remember, I've already ground the opened end of this wrench to make it a little more narrow so that I can use this wrench to remove the anti-backfire devices or the fuel shutoff solenoids on the bottom of carburetors. So basically you need a narrow or thin headed opened end wrench to go in there and loosen them off. So this one's already been ground. So when I came over to look at the beveled head, I said, you know what, this would be a perfect wrench to grind away 
Now, it's understandable if you guys don't wanna grind away material from your own tools, maybe you have an expensive set of snap-on sockets or wrenches, you can purchase the sockets and wrenches without that bevel into it. What you're gonna to wanna to search for though is going to be a chamferless socket, non-chamfered socket, flush socket, or flat socket. They go by various different names. Again, you're just gonna be buying them without that chamfered or beveled edge. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. Just a quick one, but informational enough. This was something that I just learned recently and wanted to share with you guys today. But with that being said, I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hopefully everyone spends the holidays with their family and friends and stays safe. And if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.